There's a place in this world everyone should know. Beautiful Barbados, if I may say so. Place in this world everyone should know. Beautiful Barbados, if I may say so. You may try. Well, my friend, I, I, I like to put it this way. Every big break that was given to a youngster in Barbados was given by Richard Stout. Every big break was a team talent. He took care of the teens, I took care of the older guys. There isn't one musician of note that have not passed through my hand at some time or other. Not one. You can't count any. The early small, the Keith Campbell, the name it, Sam Rivera, Eric Fingers Allen, the other names you would have heard, um, Collie Wave, name it, everyone. Um, and a lot of uh, local recordings was done with my band doing the backup, which we never really get much. So for instance, his Sudan recorded 98 tunes, 96. He was backed by the Bimshaw Boys. All of them, Messiah, this thing, not, not, not a bad, 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 bad. Uh, JR and Art and name it. And we've had, um, Quite a few groups coming in from overseas to record in Barbados and use my band. Mm -hmm. A guy from Bermuda by the name of Ruben McCoy and um, the Strolling Minstrels of the St. Lucia. A lot of people came in and used my band to back them. So I, I had a full band as well as the little trio thing and quartet. Thing and thing and full mm -hmm. band. But the, the beauty was that. Um, I got a little one night, then two nights, then three nights, and then I was doing several nights, and then other people wanted me. And my wife looked at me one day and said, why are you giving away work? Mm -hmm. I said, I mean, giving away work. She said, why aren't you singing at those other places? I said, but because I sing at Corey, so I can't sing at Corey Club. She said, how come you can't? Have you ever thought of bringing some musicians and putting them in the other places that you, you are going to go between? Mm -hmm. My wife. Yeah, he said. This is your brainchild, huh? I didn't think about that. Hmm. He said, we do that. Hmm. So I ended up then with the Bimsha Boys, is the name of the whole organization, but hmm. actually it's Bobby Dyer. Bimsha Boys, sophisticated songs, fun fight, hmm. hot shots, four bands. Great. Right. So that if... Just a rotating. I would rotate. I'm not, and if I became so popular in the hotels, that I could demand the night I want. In other words, I could go to Corey and say, I would like to work for you on a Wednesday night. And the guy would say, but um, I have somebody working for me Wednesday night. Can't you make it Friday, you know? Uh, we have made it Wednesday because I'm next door at you. I'm next door at you over <laughs> So the guy would turn to the bar that he got playing on a Wednesday night and say, look, Lord Radio is interested in working here. You can only come Wednesday night, so I can ship you the Friday. So I could accommodate to have him on, on Wednesday. So that is that is as popular as it became that I was actually doing two and three different spots every night. You not only popular, you were powerful because you had the ability not necessarily to demand what you want, but you requested and it basically was granted to you because you were in demand, that person. Right. Yeah. I never got a proper night's pay, mm. but I always got paid. Right. That is a difference from most of the other uh, fellas in my business who never got a proper night's pay and sometimes didn't get paid at all. Right. Um, I, I, I feel really happy to know that I have done a lot of other things to below now. For instance, I got the Caribbean Sunshine Award some few years ago in New York. I did, I did uh, Dick Van Patten, you would, uh, let me mm -hmm. say it's, you know Dick Van Patten, I did yeah. the Dick Van Patten show. Mm -hmm. I did a show with an artist known as Inga Rundle in um, 19, 1966. I performed with Giselle McKenzie, who was a famous little pianist at the time and singer. Mm -hmm. I performed with Peggy Wood, who was my superior in the sound of music. 
I, I performed with the animals, I was burning in the animals. He was popular then with the house of the rising sun. There's a lot of things I did, and they did a couple of short, say a couple of movies. And I got the pleasure of um, writing the title song for, for two of them. One was called Cal Beat, which featured the Merry Man and I. And I wrote the title song, Cal Beat. And then we had the sinking of the stuff around the Keto, sinking of the pirate ship off Miramar Hotel. Uh -huh. And I did the title track for that too. So there's a few unknown things that more people don't talk about, but. Not anymore. Uh, no, it's not anymore. Of course, my biggest thing still was 1967 in Montreal. Expo? Expo. Uh -huh. That was my biggest thing ever. I, I did a six months um, thing up there, and the Canadians liked me so much that they requested me back in 1968. Hmm. So we back up a man who's world in 68. And um, that was, again, that came from the uh, ability to accept That right. That's what everybody liked about me. That's, um, Paul Foster, who was the man to the tourist board back in those days, he heard me saying one day that part like this guy. And I went to this rhyming thing and so on. And Paul called me over. Hey, man, what's your name? And he told me, he says, where do you, where do you work? I said, I do two nights there. Paul like this. So I said, if I ever get a big break, then you'll call him, man. So I ignored him because I got something like that. A couple of months after this board had to make a trip. We're doing 11 cities in 13 days in the States. And they uh, had it in the papers, uh, advertising for people to come in. And I ignored the whole thing. One day, I got a call. Mr. Foster, I want to talk to you. And I said, um, listen, Oliver, we got an ad in the papers for a group to travel the board tourism. You have not made an application. I said, well, I find it necessary. You told me if you ever get a big break, you would give me. Yeah. You know my ability. So I didn't see that I have to come to prove anything to <laughs> compete with anybody. He yeah. said, all right, come on, get out of the London shop and get measured yeah. and bring your boys. <laughs> That's like that. And I, I did my, my first throw. Then Sir Richard Costain was building the deep water harbor. They had a party at the Sufferings Hotel in St. Arts. And they had about 40 people around like that. And they said, I want you to sing a verse on each of these people. So the one guy walked with me, and he called the names. This is, and as, as fast as he called the name, I would do a verse. Basically, according to we've never heard anything like this. So, that was my big thing. And up to now, up to last Tuesday night, I performed last, I performed every Tuesday night after I did to come in. Up to last Tuesday night, I got encored three times again come back, come back, come back. But as I say, it's not all Calypso. The ability to extend both is what I call the icing on the cake. Mm. Because you hear, you hear a man sing something like, I get a dance all night, somewhere beyond the sea, love story, for the good times, name it, uh, some enchanted evening, cherry pink and apple blossom white. You got a guy with that kind of repertoire, and then in the middle of that, he hits it with some extempo, and then end up the show with the Lord's spray. I mean, you <laughs> mean, you just said it's a natural, yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> said that. Yeah. Mm. All right, Lord, uh, Oliver, um, <laughs> it was a pleasure doing this, and uh, I learned quite a bit more than I know about you. Mm -hmm. And people who, would, who are going to see this will also see that you. Like I said earlier, you know, made a big contribution to the entertainment. I'm probably still doing it by, you know, still well, doing it. I was the first entertainer to get national honors too. Right. I got the Barbados 
by their service medal. Uh, since then, a lot of people thought it should have been a grade, uh, which never came off. But I did get the my base service medal in 1984. And um, as I said, I did a lot. I, I did a lot of things. Mm. Germany, we named it Vancouver. Mm. All about it, every border tourism. Yo, so in other words, you're well a well traveled man. All right, well, let's hope that um, you keep on traveling, whether it be here or there. Uh, and uh, <laughs> whatever comes your way. Like, some person asked me recently, um, you still playing? And I said, the day stop playing, I'm no longer a, a musician. <laughs> so the day stop singing, and you quit, you're no longer an entertainer or singer. <laughs> you're, you're a husband. <laughs> you know what you mean? when people ask me? Uh, we work in the night. Yeah. Uh, we play in the night. Yeah. I said, excuse me, I don't play at night. <laughs> but honey, you don't play at I said, no, I work. Yeah. It's a job. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I work there. Uh, the job that you enjoy doing. I work there yeah. because I remember that was the one thing I had as a youngster. Mm. With people like Ernie Small, for instance. I remember Ernie Small coming down across Valentine Street. And stopping at the corner by the dead man or a shoe. And he found there drinking. He said, Ernie, come and have one. And his one became two and then three and then four. And he lost her. I got no day that I got it. You know what I mean? I, I drink it. Yeah. You know, and I I came along. I don't ever want to see this happen to me. Yeah. So I, I, I took the business side of it. And with a wife alongside me to encourage me all the way. You know, it, it was pretty easy. I've got a couple of sons that are in the business now. Um, if you do come tomorrow night to see the show, which I hope you would, mm -hmm. uh, one of them is the leader of the band over here tomorrow night. He plays guitar, sax, and keyboard. Mm -hmm. And the other guy is about the, the hottest keyboard, keyboard mm -hmm. player we got in Barbados now. Mm -hmm. He got his own little group too. Right. And two of my daughters sing. Good. Very, very nice. It's a family affair. Single Yeah, it's a good man. Okay, so it was good. Man sends a small and living with women. All I can get from them is small children. Some with the blue eyes and some like shiny. Any kind of child, my woman, she stick me. But I wait on her patiently. It is about 10 months now she won't kiss me. And you know the bold face woman is tell me. Any kind of child that's born in my house, I'm the daddy. That's why I shame I don't tell nobody. Chinese children calling me daddy. You know the old man is one to cuss me when. Chinese children calling me daddy. But a black like jet and she just like her baby steel. Chinese children calling me daddy. Well it is left, right, in front and behind me. 